here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2 Free Mode Edition. In the previous episode, we basically did a couple of upgrading our vehicles, as well as adding a new Atlantic-type passenger locomotive on the front end of our first express train, running from Leamington to Kingsburg. And in this episode, hopefully we might be able to start adding some more really useful freight locomotive designs that will really help amp up our freight operations. Because I have plans to start delivering livestock and taking it to this meatpacking plant. Because according to the rule, it's either two loads of fish or one load of livestock. Well, one unit of livestock or two units of fish equals one unit of meat. Considering that our fish trains are kind of scarce, even though it's a very close destination, I mean, this train is at 440 units out of 500. Speaking of which, this train hasn't even taken up a full load of coal at all. It's been empty. Although there is plenty of water, but we have yet to start delivering any slag. Furthermore, since we have the cigar factory, we should at least start transporting some cigars around the map. Okay, so Blue Water City needs some cigars, so does Riverside, and Greenwood. But not Leamington right now, we only are still transporting this. But the town's population is growing a little. Let's not waste any time and get started on making some extensions. Now, let's see. Because of the area it's going to be operating, I think it's best if I basically do it like this. Let's get rid of the catenary system because we don't need it right now. Place down the curvature here. Do that. Do that. Then expand the track outwards. Make it into a dual crossing here. And then we can connect back to the main line at this junction here. or building a bridge. Alright. It's 1904. No new vehicles yet. We should be seeing the sun maybe in a few moments or so. Why is the freight? Why is this train traveling the area? Seems like I have to basically realign the route. There we go. Much better. No other services are using that track, so it's all good. I'm not basically allowing any freight or passenger trains to use this line because it's an industrial track. And I don't want my freight trains to race through freight stations because who knows when the next train will enter the platform. Speaking of which... I think it's high time to stop operating the ships and transporting copper pretty soon. By that, we're going to basically start transporting the copper ore by rail. We already have some geared steam locomotives, so why not use those? I mean, sure I would like to use these in logging operations, but these geared steam engines did do some work in mining operations as well. And since copper is a very heavy mineral at times, this could work pretty well in its favor. Only 
lead it. Let's see. It only has two consumers, so it just needs a three track platform. I'll have to rearrange on what tracks this freight train will unload them. Let's see. Uh, freight train V1A, you are actually going to basically unload your brain on track 3 or on track 4. And Sugar Cane is going to be unloaded on tracks 2. Let's see. Hmm. Boxite is still on its way. There's a load of water plant needing to be taken away there. Still nothing new just yet. We should at least get a new freight engine pretty soon. Also, I need to fall so basically swoop up the ground there. While we'll add it, let's basically add some trees to this area. Make it look like it's away, far away from the main line. I just have to get rid of some of these trees beside the track. And basically, I'll do it. Of course, I'll need to set up some signals here. Yep, the upper, the lower quadrant signals are no longer available. I guess I'll have to use these variants instead. Oh well. At least they work the same anyways. But at least our, some of our main lines have already been set up with these signals. I might actually do an updated version of these signals eventually later on. But I'm probably going to save that until we have some proper vehicles for our freight. Which won't basically take too long, I believe. Let's see, 40 miles an hour. That's reasonable because this is an industrial line. And then we'll basically need to connect this. Now this is actually the original, well, that was the original version of the Atlantic that was used in the game before the recent updates. And they were all designed based off of the Great Northern K2 class, which was the name. Which, for me, which means, for the first time, all of our local passenger trains are now basically going to receive this new piece of equipment. Kind of sad, really. The John Bull, the Virginia, the 
General, and these three 440s have done very well in passenger service in the last few years, but I think it's time for a much more modern piece of equipment to take over this passenger service. As for the passenger equipment itself of the commuter trains, I think it's going to be the same, just some green coaches, but no observation car. It's just going to be five coaches with the combination car. It's going to cost over $224 million, but however, these trains have a higher capacity and have a higher speed output. Speaking of which, Leamington. Wow, the most loaded we had was back in 1902 with 237, though the highest unloading was 249. We need to have more and more people load up at the stations. But however, the first express service is actually doing pretty well. It has a lot of people waiting for it. Which reminds me, now with a new with a new commuter engine, we could finally get started on adding a new set of commuter trains up and running too. We'll connect this station to Blue Water. This will be known as Local Train Number Seven. We'll paint it uh gray. Well, actually, dark gray. Well, actually, yeah, this gray... Wait, not that gray. This one. And we'll operate another commuter train that will travel down to Riverside. This will be local train number eight. We'll also need a local train from here, from Longhorn to Riverside. This will be local train number 9. And I gotta set up another set of commuter trains to run along the line of the first express route. No, I don't want Lincoln Street. I want Longhorn and connect to Grand Valley. This will be local train number 10. And this will be... Oh, I started off at the wrong depot. Grand Valley and Kingsburg on track 2. And this will be local train number 11. And the one that's going to be near Black Diamond City will be number 12. Why is it set to track 1? It should be on track uh, 5. Change this color again to gray for local train number 12. Now then, we already have a si we have six local trains already, so we'll need to operate about six more. Oh, and we have ourselves a new passenger car, the Pennsylvania Railroad P70, which is a pretty good coach, albeit kind of heavy, though made of metal and very expensive to purchase. But since my company has been rolling in so much money since we're now completely out of debt, well, since we already paid our loan in, in full, we could at least be able to purchase some new passenger cars. These hold about 44, while the regular coaches such as these can only carry 48. It will give us back $26 million, and these modern steel coaches look a lot better for, the, for this current era. Now then, time to install some more express trains. Well, more, well, commuter trains. Another Atlantic, and five of these coaches. I'll need six of these. And I'll put them on to work. This one on train 7. Train 8. Train 9. 
train 10, train 11, and 12. Alright. Perfect. Now with our new commuter trains in action, we can also get started on what I was proposing to do. Connecting the main line to Woodsburg. As we'll be operating another express train type very soon in the not too distant future, and I want to at least be able to get that locomotive. We'll need to build a tunnel through this mountain range to get to the other end. Five point eight million. Do that. And then basically extend the track out across over this road. And then add well, this is the only crossing we have so far, but we'll be able to at least connect up into Woodsburg. Let's go up. Do that. Do that. that and that will basically do it for the station here at Woodsburg though we're not so sure if I'll be able to get another locomotive in this particular episode but we will eventually be able to get a much more appropriate freight engine not in due time all right let's see Ooh, that is way too sharp. Uh, that one looks a lot better. I'll just basically have to, uh... Oh! We also have the new MP54 rail cars and a generic control car, which is going to be useful on a reverse unit train. Though, I don't have any third rail track, even though I've added it into this mod pack, but it will take forever to basically place down all that third rail. So, instead, I'm just removing the MP54s to basically be developed a little further. Now then, because of the new extension, we'll have to use the new signal System. I like to use these USS EM distant U UQs, the gray variant for junctions. I like to use this particular type of home signal for the main line or trains exiting stations, and this one for basically a distant signal into a station. And just use these on the outskirts of the main line. We'll use the other types of signals later on. That also reminds me, because of the distance of the tunnel, I'm going to basically add some uh, dwarf signals inside of it to allow more than one train to use the tunnel at a time. Alright. Now with our new commuter trains in service, there's going to be a lot of people still wanting to ride these trains to their respective destinations. I also realized I could also operate a commuter train from Keaton, from Grand Valley to Riverside. So this will be local train number 13. And I'll basically give it the same coat of color for the line and purchase another Atlantic and some coaches for it. All right. 
right. Let's add five of these and put it to work. But also, at the same time, I should at least get the freight station ready at the livestock, well, at the cattle ranch, to pick up livestock, so I could then take it to the meatpacking plant once the appropriate locomotive is available. Those new Atlantics with those modern steel coaches are working like a charm. Although these Atlantics were designed back in the day when passenger cars were a little lighter and not made of metal, but they still do the job just fine. I'll add the dwarf signal here at the junction. And now, let's see. How many people have ordered? Uh, no one yet. But there should be some people loading up at the station very soon. Plus, we ought to also figure out how to replace these aging uh, stagecoaches for something a little more modern and a little more mechanical. Also, I think I want to basically do a little work here at this station. So I'm going to basically type up ballast, lower the brush size, and then just basically do a little bit of ballast. in just the right spot, like so. Nice. I might actually do the elevated gate towers for the crossings, but that will probably be in the next episode. Other than that, even though this might be a short episode, I'm not so sure, I think we already accomplished enough stuff in today's episode. Got new equipment, built some new trackage, got some new connections, and I think we have reached a good ending point for today's episode. So, if you enjoy this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my episode schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!